Going by records, between 1994 and 2015, Uganda lost 2.5% of her wetland cover despite enormous yet obvious benefits of wetlands to humanity. Following deliberate efforts to avert this trend, Uganda's current wetland coverage stands at about 9.3%. The first step taken by government to put a halt to any further approval of any developments in wetlands except sustainable fisheries management on the edges of wetlands. You, you are aware of the presidential directives in that respect, cabinet decisions and uh, subsequent uh, suspension of any licensing for activities in wetlands and then nature recovery. The recovery is already happening. Despite the progress, the Minister for Water and Environment, Sam Cheptoris, is not amused by the rate at which wetlands are being degraded. Minister Cheptoris categorically states that Ugandans have sinned against the environment and the wetlands in particular, appealing that the sooner this is reversed, the better it will be for humankind. Many of us have sinned against wetlands and we must go to church and ask for forgiveness. It is very unfortunate, for instance, to see one individual or two individuals or three individuals occupying a whole wetland which would benefit the majority of the people. According to the Minister of Water and Environment Strategic Plan, government targets to achieve at least 15.6% wetland coverage by the year 2034. To achieve this target, the Minister of Water and Environment banks on concerted efforts of all stakeholders, media inclusive. We know that you are here, you appreciate what we are going through as a country, and we need to also highlight the achievements we have so far made. I can't remember the percentage, but we have succeeded in restoring forest cover and also wetlands. We are doing a great job, but instead, you know, what you find is people only reporting the, the negatives. It is okay to sensitize and highlight what we should be doing to our wetlands. And I would love to see tomorrow or the other day a, a column dedicated to name and shame. Uganda will on 2nd February 2024 join the rest of the world to commemorate the World Wetlands Day to be hosted in Gulu City. The Minister of Water and Environment has flagged off members of the Workers' Association to undertake a 65-kilometer awareness walk from Kamdin Town Council to Gulu City. Ayelida is not an expert. He knows what to tell the people. But we must not tire. We must continue continue sensitizing the people, we must continue, we must not stop. This year's Wetlands Day will be commemorated under the theme Wetlands and Human Well-Being. It highlights the urgent need to prioritize wetlands for human welfare. Sudat Kaye, UBC News.